Yes, hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Annette Turner. Someone from your office called me on Thursday of last week. They told me I needed to make a payment. I sent the payment in to you guys, and then you guys still cut my service off anyway. Hi. Hi, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, how are you? N yes, I did plan on paying my rent this week. I thought I had more time. The bill wasn't due until the 27th of the month. No, I need to make sure that my service is cut back on, okay? I have a small child that's here in the house, and I can't be here without the service. If you could just give me until, until Wednesday, I'll, I'll make sure that I have it for you, okay? Okay. Sorry. It's okay, baby. No, no, it's not okay. What is this? Third, fourth time this week this shit happened to me? Are you still attracted to me? Of course. Good answer. So, I mean, how could you not be attracted to all of this, right? Don't be so modest, Tina. You got another woman on the side. You know me better than that. Good answer number two. <laughs> oh, Lord, you on a DL, brother? I'll take that as a no. Then it's just stress, baby. Well, no, stress makes me sleep a lot. No, depression makes you sleep a lot. Stress makes me sleep a lot. Stressing about this ain't gonna make it any better. Yeah, but... No, baby. but don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, so I'm just supposed to ignore this and it's supposed to pay itself. I didn't say that and you know it. Come here. Wait. Come here. Baby, we are a team. Remember? Yeah. Okay. So let's talk solutions. We can cut back a bit. I can take off a semester. Baby, no, we're too close. We're too close. Okay, how about we sell our cars? We need our cars. They both pay for it, and you love that car. Yeah, I do, but it's a collector's item, and I can name my price on eBay. Do you know how much time and effort it took to restore it? No, no, we're keeping it. I could pick up a job. That's actually not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. But we need the money like yesterday. Big money. Okay. I can start dancing again. What? Instant cash. Every night. 
It's just a couple of months. Okay, till we get caught up on the mortgage and, and, and you book a couple of gigs. I talk to the girls all the time. Look, they need dancers. You do that. You go back to that life for me. Mm -mm. I'll go back to that life for us. I love you. I know it. But you are not taking off a semester and you definitely not going back to dancing. You know, maybe, I don't know, I can go back to video editing or something. You hate video editing. No, I don't hate it. I just got tired of it. Honey, how are you going to have a full-time job and audition at the same time? It's slow right now. You know, I can take a hiatus to next pilot season, you know, get a new agent, some headshots. Baby, by then you'll be out of school and we'll be cool in the game. Come here, boy. Nothing. No. I'm just gonna go clean up the garage before it gets too late or something. Okay. Uh, um, I'll come help you after I cook. Cool? Cool. I just got some ideas, man. We could roll up to San Diego right now and hook up with this hair on connect that I got. <laughs> and what hair on connect is that? Bro? These Arabs I know. I ain't fucking with no Arabs. Nigga, ain't nobody talking to you, Rob. Damn. D man, I'm telling you. These cats got the hot shit, man. Straight from Afghanistan. Plus, I can get us wholesale prices. Carlos, you full of shit. Only Boston can get wholesale prices. That's, that's the thing. These cats don't like bosses, man. They'd rather deal with some runners like us. I can get us eight keys for what Mr. Hayes is paying for four. Eight? For the price of four. Where we gonna get the seed money from? Shit, I knew what? that was a catch to this motherfucker. What? You want us four niggas to make a detour to San Diego with Mr. Hayes' money to buy eight kilos of heroin from some fucking terrorist? Hey, terrorist? I don't think. I don't think. Why don't you think about Guantanamo, motherfucker? Shit. And while you at it, think about loyalty. Loyalty? Yes, bitch, loyalty. Where was you three months ago, Los? Shit, I was handling mine. You wasn't handling a goddamn thing, <laughs> nigga. They end up in your mama house making babies and shit. You ought to be glad as I ain't putting some money in your short ass pockets, man. That's what I'm saying, D. I'm tired of this short money shit, man. Oh, Let's right. take this loot and make shit better for ourselves. Fuck Mr. Hayes. That nigga ain't nothing but a middleman anyway. I know y'all tired of being his hoes. I ain't no hoe. All right, listen, listen. We all somebody hoes. Every motherfucker in this country that's got to give some of his hard earned to another motherfucker is somebody's hoe. Shit, Mr. Hayes is a hoe for them Jamaicans that be supplying him. We his hoes. And the motherfuckers that grind for us, they are hoes. That's the game, Blaz. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. <laughs> All right, Los, what's the plan, man? We go to SD, get these eight keys, flip it, and pay Mr. Hayes next week. Next week? Maybe the week after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, look here, Carlos, man. You ain't getting us killed over your entrepreneur ideas, man. Straight up. We gonna take Mr. Hayes' money. We gonna deliver his money on schedule, on time, and I don't wanna hear nothing else about that shit, man. Oh, shit! Oh, motherfucker! Pull, pull over. Don't do it, Mike. Oh, nigga, what the fuck? Pull over right now. Oh, right now. Pull over. Pull over, bitch. What the fuck you, bitch? Don't do it. Oh! 
Calm down. Give me the fucking keys. Just calm down. Give me the keys. Okay. okay. All right. Shit. We're playing. All right. Let's go. Just calm down. Calm down. Just calm Let's down. Give me the food. Is <laughs> What? Come here. What's wrong? Damn! Is that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, um. Yeah. Um. Uh. Okay, close it. Close it. Tina! Okay. okay. What are we gonna do? I don't know, maybe we can... Uh... No, no, uh, that's too dangerous. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. But yeah, we should... Uh... No, 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 not stupid. Uh, yeah, I, I agree, I agree. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, oh, perhaps, uh, no hey, oh, yeah, oh, was thanks. there anything you guys needed? Or... Um, no, you know, we're fine, Dad. Yeah. It's fine. You know, there's a really crazy thing about carjackings. I've been hearing a lot of those things going around. Uh, this guy at my job was telling me about... Oh, wait, wow, you know what? 
I'm not feeling good. I think, um, I think I'm gonna go upstairs. And yeah, lie down. baby. Why yeah. don't you go upstairs and lie down? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Idea. He's so smart. Okay. He's my husband. I'll stay down here with Dad. Okay. Hi. So, anyway, I was trying to tell you about the guy and my job and right. his wife. And he's trying to tell me about what's going on with that. Sure. Hello. Montoya, this is Metro One. Where's your radio? Hey, you got my cell phone. What do you care? What's up? How long you been back on duty? A couple weeks. Yeah, huh? How's the shoulder? You know, day to day. Good to know. You've got a 187 in Sherman Oaks. 2212 out Siegel Lane. Alright. Your partner's already on the scene, but you're the primary as per the Chief of D's. First officer on the scene is conducting the preliminary. Who's that? That would be, uh, Officer Annette Turner. What's an Annette Turner? Rookie. Great. All right. Be gentle with it, would you? Oh, yeah, all the time. On my way. Wonderful. But now, see... I don't care, Deshaun. But Mr. Hayes... I don't care, Deshaun. But he just ran. Deshaun, what's my number one rule? That you don't like to repeat yourself, sir. Then why are you making me repeat myself, Deshaun? I'm sorry, sir. It's just been a little hectic. Understandable. But the actions of your colleague have put me in a situation. Yes, sir. And this situation is causing me not to feel good. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Well, then, Deshaun, you also understand that when I don't feel good, no one feels good. Yes, sir. It's... Can we do something for you? Bring you something. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you can. How about you go and get what's mine? You think you can handle that? But, Mr. Hayes, Carlos ran. I know Carlos ran. If Carlos hadn't run, we wouldn't be having this pleasant conversation, now would we? No, sir. Deshaun, why, of all people, would you trust Mr. Paternity Suit with my property? Well, sir, Carlos been complaining about not having enough responsibility on the squad. You know, so I thought th that you would let him hold my property. Of all the duties that you're responsible for as employees of my firm, you let this young jittery motherfucker hold my property. Now this motherfucker can't drive. He can't ride shotgun. He got to hold my shit. I'm sorry, sir. It's a bad judgment call. You goddamn right you made a bad judgment call. You got my goddamn pressure up. But here's how you're going to make it right. Go and get my property. Or get what I gave you this morning. Or get gone. And that means you, your boys, and all your respective goddamn family members. Or scorch earth, Deshaun. But, yes sir. Yes sir. I understand. Shit. Told you. You told me what? I told you not to hire them niggas. I thought Deshaun was your boy. He ain't my boy. You misunderstood me. Yeah, whatever. That's what happens when you don't listen to me. Hey, what's up, Stallings? What's up, Detective? How's the finger? Ah, oh, it's coming along. So, uh, you catch this case? Yeah, I'm partnering up with Montoya. Oh. And I drew the short straw today. You know how it goes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, tell me, baby, what do we got going on here? Well, we started out as a 211, turned into a 240, and ended up a 187. The end, fade to black, roll credits. Hmm. So, what's the cause of death here? Well, I won't know for sure until I get him on the table, but it looks like your man Nelly here succumbed to a crushed larynx. 
Jesus Stalin. His name was Nelly. Yeah, Nelly, Iverson, Fitty, hell, I don't know. All these walking cliches look alike to me. <laughs> Stalin, do you do much profile? Profile? Me? Yeah. Never. Hmm. Well, darling, when you find out what went on with this case, get back at me, all right? All right. All right. Yeah. Yo, man. What did Mr. Hay say? Gave us three choices. What's that? Get his money, mm -hmm. get his product. All right, then what's the third? Get out the country. Shit! Yo, man. I can't go nowhere, man. My whole family's here. Hey, man. Y'all sure that was low stay zipped up in that bag? Tag him and bag him, baby. Fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Shit ain't good. <laughs> oh, dog, what's so funny, man? Real, what's so funny? <laughs> Check this out. Our money is right up in there. How do you know they ain't turning it into the cops? Niggas don't turn in money. So you were in the garage and yeah. the guy came in. Let me just get my hammer straight. You were in the garage and the guys came in and they began to. Good evening, uh, yeah. Officer uh... Turner, Annette Turner. Mm. You know, it's nice to finally meet you. Know, I've heard a lot about you. Glad to meet you. Listen, I need you to do me a favor. Anything. Could you go out and uh, case the area or something? Uh, sure, Detective, but actually I was the first officer on the scene, you know, so I'm sure there are other officers that can go in and find a case. This. But yeah, but I was right in the middle of doing the interview. I'll handle this. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Worthington. Right, uh, Wade and Tiny? Tina. Of course, uh, sorry, our penmanship's terrible. Uh, I'm Detective Raphael Montoya. So tell me about it. Well, we were in the middle of giving our statement to that other officer right, when... I, I, but I prefer to conduct my own interviews. Okay, um, I was in the garage straightening up when this guy comes up and he... Wait a minute. Haven't I seen you before? Me? Oh, I was in this commercial. Maybe you've seen me... You I was it. talking to your wife. Oh. Uh, um, I don't think we've ever met before. You look awful familiar. Are you sure? Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Where are you from? She's from around. Oh, he's up, Worthington. You got an attractive woman here. You don't think I know that? Yeah, I'm just saying maybe that I met her somewhere before, that's all. Well, you didn't. Uh, can we please get on with this? Absolutely. So, uh, you were saying, Mr. Worthington? I was in the garage straightening up when what this thug came... What do you mean, what do I mean? Yeah, he was making room for my car. Oh, you're getting a new one? Tomorrow. No. Is that right? It's not a new one, it's a restoration. 78 Trans Am Special Edition. TA, huh? Yeah. Isn't that like a guy's car? What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. You got good taste. So you were straightening up. Yes, and then this guy comes in. And Where were you, ma'am? Uh, I was in the kitchen cooking. Wow. You're beautiful, you cook, and you like muscle cars. Where you been all my life? <laughs> Should I give you two a minute? Hey, you got a gold mine here. Now I couldn't even get my ex-wife the, the Pink Garter. What? That's where I know you're from. The Pink Garter, right? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Oh, what was your stage name? Uh, Exotica? The, the... Uh, erotic. That's it. Boy, you were the shit. Hey, I don't mind admitting, I left quite a bit of my paycheck at the Pink Garter. This is unfucking believable Again, my apologies. Please continue. I was in the garage straightening up when this thug comes in and trying to jack me from my car. Well? Well what? Well, are you gonna respond to that or just sit there rubbing that shit into your shoulder? This shit is shea butter. I know what it is. It contains chamomile and lavender. Right now it's common the inflammation on my shoulder. I can feel it working. It's releasing a scent that simultaneously stimulates my nervous system. 
creating a soothing effect. I'm almost in a state of bliss. The only thing separating me from Nirvana is you and this bullshit. Are you crazy with this, huh? Because I'm a couple of payments late? Are you fucking kidding me or what? Four payments. And no, Raphael, I'm not fucking kidding you. This is the agreement that we made. And you're not living up to your end of it. Yeah? Do look like I could afford it right now? Not my issue. Oh, great. You know what? Let me put a shirt on. I'll go out back and get some money from my money tree, huh? Big Bill's all right with you? I have a better idea. Why don't you walk over to that closet, pull out a couple of those $800 suits, cash them in, and give me those big bills. Oh, and those are handcrafted. Italian suits. suits, yes, I know. Who do you think introduced you to them? You just don't get it. You're right. I don't get it. You live in this fucked up, rick and troll apartment and own a closet full of designer suits. How does that work, Raphael? It's therapeutic. Massage is therapeutic. Sports is therapeutic. This shit is obsessive. Yeah? Well, how about I take the money I owe you and go pay the $100 shrink in Beverly Hills? Maybe I could use your doctor. That's a low shot, Raphael. Well, I figure everybody knows so goddamn much about what's therapeutic. I figure maybe you could help me. You don't have to be an asshole about it. Asshole? <laughs> just lock the door on the way out, will you? Why can't you just do what you're supposed to do? I'm trying, Lauren. How? How are you trying? How about waking up every morning going to that goddamn job I hate, huh? Oh, please. You love being a cop. You don't see, huh? The shit done changed. You're broken. You let the job break you, didn't you? Don't start. I warned you, didn't I? I told you to Lauren. go back to school, get your degree when you were still in uniform. That way, if the job became too much... Lauren, I don't need this shit, all right? I don't need you coming in and asking me for shit. And I don't need you coming in and tell me how right you were. Raphael, I'm just trying to help. And I don't need your goddamn sympathy either. Get paid Friday. Don't worry about it. No, no, I'm going to be a man of my word, all right? The check will be in the mail first thing Saturday. Personal check. Get the fuck out of here. Please. Seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three. How much? Eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five. Eighty-five. Oh, Jesus. Eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, 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 ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five,
What choice do we have anyway? Exactly. I mean, if we turn it in... They'll wonder why we didn't turn it in in the first place. And you know he didn't work for that money. Well, not in the traditional sense anyway. Besides, he tried to kill you. Both of us. So this is like hazard pay. Yeah, and plus we took a known felon off the streets. Protecting our community. Yeah. There's, there's a reward for that. Yeah, yeah, don't, and, and cops get bonuses, right, for bringing down major criminals. And everybody know black people don't turn in money. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we don't need it. Bills piling up and shit. Please, Bobby Seale, what, what, what did he write about uh, seizing the time? God help those. That help themselves. That's right. And, and Sun Tzu said, uh, what did he say about retreating? What? This is my house. Yeah, so? Nobody's running me from my house, Tina. Shit. Wait, stop playing. I work too hard for this house. Baby, you, you can be the king of your castle in Mexico, okay? We, we need to leave. Nobody's running me from my house, Tina. This isn't running, sweetie. This is, um, it's a strategic withdrawal. You serious? Serious. Wait, baby, look, can, can, can we talk about this? Wait! That's it, what we gonna do? Let's go. Shit. Let's go where? Seize the time, motherfucker! Seize what? Man, get the fuck out the car, come on! Shit! Fuck. Wait, I'm telling you, some seriously bad people are gonna come looking for this money. We don't know that for sure, Tina. You know, maybe it's his. Oh, please. The idiot that couldn't even pull off a simple carjacking. Baby, where does he get that kind of money from? I don't know, Tina, but if we leave now, then we're just going to look guilty. And I don't want your new boyfriend following us all over Mexico. <laughs> boyfriend? Wait, I told you I don't know him. Well, he sure knows you, and I wonder how well. And what is that supposed to mean? Nothing. No, no. Tell me what you meant. Huh? Nothing, Tina. It's all right. No, oh, no, no. Judge me. Come on, throw my past all up in my face. Come on, tell me how much better you are than Tina? me. Tell me how by coming and pulling me out of that nightlife, you successfully fulfilled your captain's save a whole duties. No, see, I ain't say all that. What? This situation make you realize how embarrassed you are of me? And what, I'm supposed to be proud of that? That some cop is up in my face talking about he remember my wife from some strip club? Girl, you must be crazy. Would you think I'm proud of that? I don't know, Tina, maybe you are. I mean, obviously you was the best dancer and the most memorable one at the Pink Garden. That's one hell of an accomplishment, Tina. Such a fucking elitist. You know that? You chased me, remember? Chased you? Yes, chased me. You start coming up to the club in August, right? Yeah, I guess so. Uh -huh. And then you asked me out in, in September. You asked me out in October. You asked me out in November. I don't remember all that. Yeah, and finally in December. Finally in December, Wade, I actually gave up and went out with you. December? Yeah, December, Wade. When we went to the premiere of that movie that you got cut out of. You remember that? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Look. The only reason that cop remembers me is because I was the best dancer at the Pink Garden. I danced. I didn't turn tricks. I didn't even date customers before I met you, Wade. Why'd I go out with you in the first place? What? Why did I go out with you in the first place, Wade? Because I didn't treat you like a stripper. Then why are you treating me like one now? Baby, get in the corner. Wait. Folks, let me love you, man.
What? You see somebody just shoot. Hey, Mike. Just a shot, see? It's just a shot. Relax, relax. It's okay. It's okay. What you doing? Gotta be sure. Where you going? I'm checking for backup. I'm sorry. I scared the shit out of me. Welcome to my world. I said I'm sorry. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, think they came alone, okay? Did you call the police? I know I am. <laughs> Looks like Dan beat me to it. Okay. Let's get our story straight. You seem awfully calm for somebody who you just... You just shot three people? Yeah, we do. Yeah, but we don't know all the facts. Tina? Baby, sure? it's okay. But we, sh we, we had the guns, okay? And, and, and you... Defended did. myself. We defended ourselves. Yeah, but baby, those people were looking for the money. money? What told money? You. The money. What money? The money in a damn bag. Tina, there is no money. This is a simple case of the big payback. Revenge. Really? Yep. Three perps entered through the open garage, right? Open? This time of night? That's what I'm thinking. Maybe they're here to get some ghetto justice for their fallen homie. Mm. Whatever the case, they do something to alarm the occupants. Worthington grabs the bat, places himself at the top of the stairs behind his wall. Okay? Mm -hmm. First purpose up, 45-9, two-gun style. Worthington catches him off guard, does a Sammy Sosa on my man. Mm. My man is backwards into his two partners. While they work to untangle themselves, Worthington grabs a 45, wife grabs a 9, Pop, 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 pop. End of story. Fade to black, roll credits. Nice. Yeah. So, where is America's favorite couple? Well, your partner had him taken down to the precinct for interrogation. I know you had a new partner. I don't. Mine got reassigned. <laughs> well, in any case, these guys' this SUV is parked down the street, so I'm gonna go and start processing that. That is, if your officer of the year didn't have that towed, too. Mm. So you need anything, you hear anything, hit me on the cell, all right? All right. Peace. Peace. Sorry. What the fuck are you doing working around the elevators for? I saw your car pull into uh, the... Forget that. Well, what the rest you to bring the Warringtons down here? Well, there's some space. Who told you that? Nobody. So what qualifies you to make that assumption? I, I thought it was standard procedure. What does a rookie know about standard procedure? Sir, I was just trying to show some initiative. Initiative? <laughs> Where are they? They're in room three around the corner. I know where it is. I was already going this direction. Yeah, but 
And what's the deal with Starlings anyway? What? Interested? No, I just was wondering about his credentials. So. Credentials? Who the fuck are you to ask about his credentials? Well, have you seen this preliminary report? I think he's going the wrong way on this. Did you steal his facts? No, it's a photocopy of the facts. Well, does the term classified information mean anything to you? Look, he's trying to suggest that this was a failed hit. Yeah? I think he's wrong. And you know this how? From evidence. Evidence? You mean the evidence he's still prophesying? No, from, from the evidence that's all around us. What the fuck are you talking about? Look, I mean, okay, let's just forget all the science and geek shit that, and, and just only consider everything that we've seen here, okay? If these guys are part of some sort of hit team, they gotta be the most inept in the city. Yeah? Well, maybe they're just rookies, huh? But these guys are drive-by shooters, okay? They, 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 they shoot up houses from the safety of their own vehicles, okay? They, they, they don't enter premises. So you're saying that's impossible? No, I'm just saying that it's improbable. I mean, these guys, these thug types, they mostly prey on their own kind, okay? For them to come this far away from home, they have to be something desperate about it. Well, maybe they're just locals. Are you serious? Oh, insensitivity. See, you're learning. Look, I'm just trying to go on the facts here, sir. Sounds like a hunch to me. Well, isn't that the basis of a lot of good detective work? Detective? Here we go. Shit. Where's the money? What money? My girl. I love you. I love you. You always take two step forwards and three backwards. Look, I'm not trying to step on any toes here. But, but you do. I'm... Look, you got a lot of good ideas, and your instincts are pretty good. There's a way you go about these things. And until you do, you continue to wear this uniform and interview neighbors. Feel me? Yes, sir. Good. And make sure you know it's a little more legible this time. I had a hard time distracting that shit earlier. Exciting day, huh? A little bit. You two all right? Just fine. So, how was it for you? How was it for me? Yeah, you know, exterminating the bad guys, taking out the trash. I mean, you're in some kind of uh, Travis Bickle, Paul Kersey shit today, my man. Who? Oh. I think the detective is insinuating that I'm some type of vigilante. Well, you just added three more notches to your belt. Average guy be puking up his dinner, or at least having the shakes. But not you. He's just sitting here, chilling. He was protecting me, detective. Yeah, and doing a hell of a job with it, too. Why are you attacking him like this? I'm not attacking anyone. You yeah. are. You're treating him like he's the guilty one. Baby, it's okay. No, it's not. You know what? If you people were doing your jobs in the first place, we wouldn't even be in this mess. You're supposed to protect and serve, not grill innocent people who are only trying to defend themselves. I'm just trying to... Trying to what? Trip my husband up. Get him to confess. Is that how you catch criminals? C could you just talk to get oh, 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 are you ignoring me? Oh, before you all up in my face and now you want to ignore me? What the fuck is wrong with your shoulder? Can I check it out? Nothing. Look, I can see you both still shaken up by all this. So why don't you guys come in tomorrow and we'll just start from the beginning, okay? That's a good idea. I'll uh, put a squad car in front of your house tonight and have an escort bring you down tomorrow, okay? We appreciate it. Well, that went well. Officer, I got a little assignment for you.
<clears throat> hey, Mom, hey, Dad. Uh, wow. <laughs> Guess I've left you guys a lot of messages in the past, huh? <laughs> well, if... If somebody could call me back, that would be great, okay? Thanks. Uh, I really need to talk to somebody. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on and I just, I'd appreciate it if you guys could call me back, please. Listen, I know I've done some things that you all have not really been proud of in the past. But right now, I, I need to talk to you. Okay. I love you. Bye. Quadruple. How's it looking? Neat. Too neat. Let me see. You know, it's been said you can tell a lot about the quality of a person by the way he keeps his personal space. Hey, I know where everything is. Oh, come on, don't fuck up my system. Relax. Things right here. Oh shit. Hey. I be looking at you too? Yep. Why? Fucking Davis has determined my lifestyle exceeds my salary. Has he seen your apartment? <laughs> then what the fuck? It's my wardrobe vinyl. Nah. What else could it be? I live in a rinky dink one bedroom. <laughs> I, my car's police issue. And my checking account has $47 in it. What happened to your savings? Well, it's most of it in divorce. Use the rest of it to survive my, uh, recovery period. Could be worse. Yeah, it could be a drinker. <laughs> Need to get personal. I'm a good cop, Lionel. Nobody's doubting that. I mean, sure, I got my share of uh, red names on the board, but no more than any other detective in this house. You think you came back too soon? <gasps> nah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Ride it out. What? Ride the investigation out. Let them crawl up your ass with their microscopes. Let them dig through your finances, your personal life. Let them waste their time. Most they find is that Detective Rafael Montoya is an impeccably dressed, financially irresponsible motherfucker that needs to see a counselor once or twice a week. Case closed. Yeah, but the fucking audacity of this guy, Lionel, I mean. Fuck Davis. He's a badge-wearing politician with heavy connections. Weeding out dirty cops is gonna help him be mayor one day. But I'm not dirty. I know that. You know that. Hell, he knows that. But you can't fight that cocksucker. Not here. Not now. So what's my move? You got no moves, Raphael. Just be still. Let this shit play itself out and then put it for a transfer in another year. Any ideas? Honestly. I think you should go somewhere south of Wilshire. But I'm nobody down there. What better place to go to start over? Yeah, but I don't know how to deal with that South L.A. bullshit. Nobody does. You just take that shit day by motherfucking day. I don't know. I mean... Listen to your uncle now. The glass is half full, man. You can look at it as an opportunity to write your own ticket in a year or two. Nothing else. You can use it as an excuse to buy some new suits. Bitch. Relax. 
I've got to meet a client in an hour. Where at? Palmdale. Because you'll never make that. I could if I left 15 minutes ago. What's the matter with you? I was out on stakeout all last night. Where was my little man? He was at my mother's. Again? Why didn't you call me? Because it wasn't your turn, James. You know that. Steak out, huh? What, uh, crack house? Or where you working sunset again? <laughs> you fucking asshole. Come on! James, relax. No, don't you tell me to relax. It's your fault that I'm here in the first place. No, no, no. You're the one that wanted to schedule this early. I didn't think you were going to contest me. Okay, so you thought that I was just going to let you come in and just take my son from me? Our son. Whatever, you know what I meant. Now you act as though we've never discussed this. In theory, we have, James. But this was not supposed to happen until he was older. Uh-uh. That was a decision that you made. Look. You know that this is a good time for him to come live with us. I'm floating! <laughs> Closing three high-end properties a month? That's a minimum. Joanne just made main anchor? We're looking at a four-bedroom place. Yeah, in Malibu, yeah, I know. You seem to find a way to always mention that shit every time I talk to you. Is that hate I smell? Man, fuck you. Fuck you, James. You know Malibu is like on the other side of the world from me. I would never get to see him. Oh, yes, you would. Every second weekend. Doesn't feel good, does it? I'll fight you. With what? That public defender you got out there? <laughs> Where did you find him? Late night TV? Look, man, he is a competent attorney. He's a cheap attorney. Annette, you can't afford this fight. Look, I'll get better representation, okay? On your salary? I doubt it. <laughs> and just what is so goddamn funny? I was just thinking about the irony of the situation. We were in a room very similar to this one about a year and a half ago. Remember? Except I was on that side of the table. You were entering the academy. I was just busting tables. Remember how you convinced me to give up custody? Because you would be able to provide a better life for him? Remember that shit? Funny how life can just reach out and just kick a nigga in the ass, huh? Are you finished? As a matter of fact, I am. My attorney is more than capable of handling this situation himself. See you in court.
You know what this reminds me of? What? St. Lucius. Our second honeymoon. <laughs> Jazz festival. James Ingram was the shit. Uh-huh. He sure was. And then we spent those two days on that island in that secluded hut. Those were oh. heat those. <laughs> okay, so now you want to leave. After that shit last night? Are you kidding? I figure we just take a flight down to Florida, leapfrog over to one of the islands. And then what? We go native. Are you crazy? Yes. I am. And so are you. Crazy for keeping this money. But it's not enough. It's not what? Enough to... to retire with? Maybe not here in the States. But we can do wonders in a place like, um, I don't know, the Bahamas. Mmm, a tropical paradise. We always talked about it. I don't know, but I don't Why know. Why not? I mean, what about the cops? Baby, you think they're going to spend the time and manpower to track down this little bit of drug money? We killed those people. In self-defense. Besides, I really don't think they give a shit about some thug niggas. Look, this is our chance to start over. And we can't do it here. You know, this money belongs to somebody important. And sooner or later, they're going to send somebody after it. Mm-mm. But they can't have it. Hell no, they can't. Mm-mm. I mean, we, we've earned it. You damn right. Shoot. Sure. I say we just go down to the station, give our statements like good little citizens, and go from there. You. Yeah. Who is it? Rafael. Who? Ma Montoya. What do you want? Good morning, officer. I brought coffee. I got decaf, I got regular. You look like you could use regular. Cream? What do you want? Peace treaty. Look, we got off on the wrong foot yesterday. Oh, you think? Hey, I take full responsibility for my actions. Oh, that's mighty big of you. Forgive and forget? Look, I'm a Christian, so I'm compelled to forgive you. But honestly, I don't know about that forget shit. Fair enough. So what can I do for you, detective? Oh, wait, 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 let me guess, let me guess. You want me to work another double shift? Who am I going to be babysitting this time? You're not much of a morning person, are you? Yeah, well, I guess I'm not very pleasant on three hours of sleep. Well, that was your fault. Excuse me? You were insubordinate. You should be thanking me. Are you crazy? Check your tone, officer. Insubordination is five days vacation without pay. From the looks of it, you can't afford it. Well, you're very astute. That's why I get to wear the cool gold detective badge. Besides, you could use the overtime. What makes you think I need the overtime? Let's see. You're 33 years old, single mom, not a dime of child support from baby daddy, criminally excessive child care costs, you got rent due, no in the car, you got American Express, Visa, MasterCard, $20,000 student loan outstanding, and SBC's about to turn off your phone. You could use the overtime. That's invasion of privacy. No. That's good detective work. Am I under some sort of investigation? No. Then why are you all up in my business? I'd like to know who I'm working with. Bagel? So, uh, where's the kid? 
It's with my mother. How's the shoulder? Fine. Thanks for asking. Oh yeah, you know, I was just a little concerned since you uh, came back to active duty so quickly. Nah, I, I was out long enough. Um, oh yeah, you gotta be careful with those gunshot wounds, you know. Clotting, nerve damage. The bullet went right through, okay? I'm, I'm fine. Sure, physically, you're, you're just great, but see, I was kind of wondering about the psychological effects of an officer-involved shooting. Point-blank range, right? Yeah. I think it was a... 380? Yeah. Hmm. Never got off a shot, did you? No, I didn't. It's understandable. And you didn't know what you were getting into, right? 415? Yeah. The neighbors were playing loud music. Mm -hmm. Just doing the apartment manager a favor. suspect did they no they didn't still see her face in your nightmares detective you're good yeah well I want one of those cool gold badges too patience grasshopper so um he done dancing or uh you want to keep psychoanalyzing me that depends on you I mean are you Done telling me about my personal history? All right then. Why don't we try this again? What can I do for you, Detective Montoya? I was wondering if I could interest you in a uh, limited partnership. You need some help clearing up an open case? No, I want to put some money in our pockets. Ready to get rich? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, stop. We do not have time for this. <laughs> There's always time for this. Hesitation being... Oh, gee, let's see. Maybe because it's stealing? From criminals? Who stole from drug dealers? It's a victimless crime. Look at it as an opportunity to prove Darwin right. Okay. I'm in. And I thought you were Christian. Yeah, well, faith alone don't pay the rent, okay? Now, what's the plan? They came in for a sit-down this morning. Very calm, very cooperative. Yeah, very rehearsed. Shit. They perform like a well-oiled machine. Finishing each other's sentences, exchanging meaningful glances. <laughs> Where'd you get these? Properties. Oh, shit. Oh, they haven't been processed yet. So chill. So, are we ready? Okay, wait just a sec.
Aren't these a little excessive? Do I need to remind you of yesterday's body cam? Nope. I think maybe we could take in a small car. Oh, what, you want to take your car and give ourselves away? It's unmarked. Look, only old white people and cops drive Crown Vicks. You know, your smart ass mouth is actually starting to grow on me. I can't believe you got me doing this shit. Look, what if we're wrong? If we're wrong, which we're not, then we go back to our broke-ass lives and the struggle for financial independence continues. Yeah, what about the Worthingtons? Fuck the Worthingtons. Look, they could report us. For what? Oh, let's start with harassment. Harassment? With the LAPD. Get used to it. <sighs> Baby, you're packing too much. Baby, that's too much stuff. Get the fuck up off me, Wade. Whoa. Whoa, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? I don't know, maybe because I'm about to go on the run for the rest of my now shortened life. That's what's wrong with me. Well, baby, you wanted this last night. Yeah, well, you know what? I had time to think about it, okay? I ain't even talked to my family. Tina, you never talked to them anyway. That is not the point, Wade. I mean, the least I could do is pick up the phone. And do what, Tina? Huh? Leave another message? How many messages you left over the last six years? Huh? What? 15? 20? That's because you're dead to them, Tina. When your uniform became a thong in high heels, you died to the Andersons, baby. But they're my... They're my people. No, they're not. Why you start stripping in the first place? support myself. Why? Because my family cut me out. Because they thought you were becoming a career student. Sink or swim, remember? Yeah. Besides, fuck all this old shit. These old clothes. This old furniture. These old people. Exactly. Let's go get us some new shit. Hello. Hi, Detective Montoya? Yes. Who's this? This is Danielle Page. Okay. We met the other day. Okay. I'm the one with the neighbor. You know where the kid got killed? Ah, yes, Miss Page. What's up? Well, you told me to call if I saw anything suspicious. Right. Well, my neighbors, they just packed up and they just left. Really? You'd have to see which way they went. Yeah, they went towards downtown. Thank you, Miss Page. Yeah, I also wrote down their license plate number if you... Hello? Hello? Detective? Cops. They're on the move. Alright, which way? South, towards downtown. What a freaking ride. Car blew all the way to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Is that them? Alright, what do I do? What do you do? Follow them! We get there the better. <laughs> On him. Don't lose him, alright? They're behind us. Okay, 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 baby. Calm oh my down. God. Oh my Okay, oh. just calm down, baby. It's, it's cool. Just calm down, baby. Baby, they're right behind just us. Calm down, calm down. Oh. We gotta come up. We gotta come up. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take the next exit. I'm gonna take the next exit. Right. It doesn't make any sense for them to go this way. Who well, cares which way they're going as long as we're on top of them? Oh my god, I can't believe it. Okay, 
Okay, just calm down, baby. We're calm down. Be cool. Be cool. Just be cool. I'll get the girl. Get out of the car. Get out of the car now. Get out of the fucking car. Get out of the car. Get out of the fucking car. Get out of there! Alright, alright! Get the door. Don't fucking move, man. Where's the keys? I guess I won't. Get up against the wall. Get up against the wall. Move it! Move it! What the fuck's going on, Montoya? Shut the fuck up and face the wall. We didn't do anything, alright? Shut up! Stay there. I got bags back here. So they looking good? Yeah, if you're looking for toothpaste and underwear. Check your other bag. <gasps> Jackpot. You got it? Huh? Yeah, I, I got it. You got it? Look, can we just talk? Tina! <gasps> <Stay down. gasps> <Stay down. gasps> Kevin. Some fucking mess, huh? Fuck you, Starbucks. Uni's got five square miles locked down tight. Took me 15 minutes just to find somebody to vouch for me. <sighs> Shit. What happened? He's taking a nap, Greg. What the fuck's it look like? Looks like a crime scene investigator committing career suicide. Now I'll ask you again, what happened? My preliminary investigation suggests that Detective First Class Rafael C. Montoya was killed approximately one half hour ago. The cause of death appears to be one single shot from a 357 caliber handgun. Said handgun lies directly behind the detective on the pavement just over his left shoulder. This weapon has been discharged three times, Detective. One into the officer line just at your feet. 
one into the female Vic, who, like the previously mentioned handgun, lies directly behind the detective just over his left shoulder. A third round appears to have struck a missing fourth party. It is this investigator's opinion that A, said missing fourth party was standing approximately four feet to my left. B, judging from the massive blood trail, this individual is critically injured and most likely seeking medical attention. And C, this individual should be considered armed and extremely dangerous. Explain. The male Vic, who, like the previously mentioned handgun and the previously mentioned female Vic, lies, lies over the detective's left shoulder. You made your point. See, that's a shotgun blast, and that weapon's missing. Shit. Isn't that that couple from that quadruple Raphael was working? Yep. Was he babysitting? It's possible. I'll check the duty roster when I get back to the house. You know this shit ain't adding up, right? Yeah. There had to be another shooter or two. What? The owner of the Magnum got hit too. He shot Montoya and the female, and his partner shot the male. But detective, I told you, the revolver was discharged three times. Then, in all of the excitement, the second shooter mistakenly shot his partner. Then when he was helping his homeboy get back to the getaway vehicle, he probably dropped his piece. I put out a canvas to all the local ERs. They shouldn't be too hard to find. How long you been on the job, Stallings? Long enough. You ready for that promotion? What you saying? I'm asking if you're ready to run that little geek squad you've been talking about. You can make that happen. <laughs> Two shooters, maybe three. Plus a driver. Young black males. Of course. No, Raymond, I haven't heard from them. How long? Uh, since about this time yesterday. Well, they should be considered AWOL. Don't you think that's a bit premature? It's been 24 hours, Edward. This is a clear violation of company policy. Article 10, Section 3 clearly states that it any employee out of contact with the company while on official business will be considered absent without leave and subject to penalties up to and including termination. Yes, Raymond, I'm well aware of the policy, okay? I helped draft it, remember? Of course I remember. But I also remember advising you against utilizing Deshaun's team for this particular project. Is this about to turn into one of those I told you so conversations? No, it's about to turn into one of those I need my money conversations. I'm working on it. Clock is ticking. Edward. In the eventuality that I'm unable to locate our missing employees. Scorched earth, Edward. And if our roles were reversed, I would expect no less from you. Yeah, I, I understand.